What's up, everybody, and welcome to another edition of AGR's Pop Culture Reviews. Now, as you know, I take fan feedback very seriously. Even the negative comments I welcome because it helps me improve the show. And the way that I see it is that if you guys take time out of your day to message me or send me an email, then I'm definitely going to answer them. So I got a message from YouTube subscriber Ebai Wina asking me if I can compare the turtles that we have reviewed on the show so far, meaning the Dream X turtle, the NECA, and the Mondo. So today we're going to be taking a closer look at a comparison video of those three figures. So Wina, I really appreciate the feedback and the support you've shown for the show, so this one's for you. I hope you enjoy the video that you requested. What I've done here is I've tiered the turtles from left to right in terms of overall value, realism, and style, depending on what your taste is. In terms of overall quality and value, I would definitely start off with the Dream X Turtle, mostly because it feels like a super high-end figure, very Hot Toys-esque in terms of its overall detail, and the level of accessories that you get with this figure is absolutely extraordinary. And one thing, as I got all of the turtles and I just really compared them, I noticed that the Dream X Turtle not only has the most accessories, but it's also high quality. I mean, I'm talking about even the weapons are so high-end, and that's what makes this figure very unique. Additionally, as it relates to the overall aesthetics, with respect to the turtle shells and overall realism, it would definitely be the Dream X figure, then the NECA figure, and then the Mondo figure being the less realistic looking. Now, with respect to overall value and scarcity, if you have to decide right now, guys, between only one turtle, then you definitely want to get the NECA figure. One of the reasons is, first of all, the price point. Now, it was retailing at $99. It has since been gobbled up by the secondary market, guys. So if you find one that's relatively cheap, you need to get it immediately. Otherwise, that's it. You're going to be paying $300 plus. You also have to consider in terms of displayability, I mean this thing is in 1-4 scale and depending again on your personal preference, this is also the most movie accurate that we have so far and that's why I fell in love with it and it's always going to have a special place in my heart. In terms of style though, the Mondo figures are just really cool and mostly because they're the most reminiscent of the original comic books, the ones that we saw initially in black and white in the comic book stores. And I just love the overall style, they're just really fun. The weapons are fantastic, the accessories are great, but they're not as realistic looking and for obvious reasons, they're more comic book ish -y. But they are really cool. I also have to mention, in terms of articulation, the Mondo figures are the most articulate, which is fantastic, and even though they have a lot more points of articulation, they hide them very well, which is very clever on Mondo's part, especially for the first time that they're getting into the 1-6 scale market. To be honest guys, having to choose between these three wonderful figures is really an exercise in futility, because they're all excellent renditions of a very popular series. But if you have to choose just one of them, I hope that my recommendations may have helped you out in terms of overall style, personal preference, and value. Alright guys, so that's been my official comparison video of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures by DreamX, NECA, and Mondo. As always, I thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next AGR's Pop Culture Reviews.